Good morning vlog. It is Mon Wednesday. Am I okay? Wednesday, April 17th. It's 8.30 in the morning and I sound like Miley Cyrus because I just got back from, say it with me, Coachella. I had every intention of filming a vlog while I was at Coachella for YouTube and I couldn't do it for multiple reasons, but mostly because I am 30 years old and my body and mind broke down very quickly. Look at my under eye bags. Yeah, this is what Coachella has done to me. It, it was so fun, but it was just, it was so much, you guys. So I ended up filming them for Instagram and I uploaded them to shorts. So if you want to see a little bit of what went down, um, I do have that on. Anyways, I realize I have not been on YouTube in two weeks. It wasn't on purpose. I just got really, really busy, and I appreciate you guys letting me have that break in my life just so that I could deal with some other things, go to Coachella, come back, but we're back, baby. We are back. I have a lot of random stuff that I want to talk about with you guys today, but I have a really busy morning. First, I have a call with Bubel and to talk about my mascara because we actually sold out, completely sold out of the mascara on our first drop, which is crazy. Um, and then I'm getting a platinum hydrofacial this morning. I'm gonna try and film while I'm in there because I wanna show you guys some of it, but it is really expensive, however, completely worth it to me. Yeah, so the hydrofacial, the platinum hydrofacial specifically, it's like they do everything and they do it from here to here. They suck the goo out of your whole face and decollete. So I'm really excited for that because I got one last year after Coachella and it made a huge difference in my skin and I definitely need one again this year. Then I need to film for a brand, an ad, and I thought we could play with some new makeup before I leave for the evening. I'm going to a comedy show with some of my friends. So I thought I would take you along just because I miss you. I haven't talked to you in a while. We haven't done a vlog in a while. So the first thing I have to do is, again, I have that call with people in less than half an hour and I have to make the bed and get breakfast going so and put clothes on okay let's go my girls have been sleeping in lately as you can see one two even though i've gotten up they want to stay in bed this has been happening recently i don't know why um and so i can't even make the bed with their <laughs> like this so i'm just going to fluff around the blankets until they move Okay, it's 10 12. I just finished all my meetings. I had my breakfast, which I've been obsessing over having like the same breakfast every single day. Ever since I got my dietitian, I have been eating the same breakfast now for like <clears throat> multiple weeks. And it is oatmeal and chia. And I put protein powder in it and then I put almond butter in it. And it lasts me hours and hours and hours. It's so easy and it literally lasts me hours. And it gives me, I take collagen in my coffee and I put collagen in my oatmeal so then I get like 20 grams of protein right in the morning. Used to be very hard for me. I'm not like a huge meat eater, um, but it lasts all day. So I am about to brush my teeth and then head to my hydrofacial. I'm so excited. I just want to lay there. I always feel bad when I go somewhere like to a facial and I'm like, hey, I don't want to talk. But sometimes you just have to tell them like, I'm not in the mood to talk. I just want to lay here with my eyes closed. And I have a feeling today's going to be one of those days because I'm very tired. Let's go. I also wanted to mention that I made a super small Sephora sale order and in it was this new Sol de Janeiro fragrance, the um, Chorizo de Rose. <laughs> Why was I gonna call it chorizo? Chorizo, like the meat. 59, that's what we're gonna call it, 59. Anyways, it's got a really, um, yeah, orchid, sugared violet, and sandalwood. The first time I wore it yesterday, I wasn't sure about it, and then the longer I, I wore it, the more I liked it. So I'm gonna just try and wear it during the day today to see how I feel about it, but 
The scent lingered for a long time, which I love. Um, these are just so good and I love all of their scents so I felt like I wanted to try this one. Mm, it's very vanilla-y, which I can get on board with. All right, I am back home. Um, I had to go out and buy something for the video that I'm about to shoot, which was because I ran out of it. The Neutrogena Water Cream, Hydro Boost Water Cream. This is actually like a thick gel cream, whereas their regular Hydro Boost is more of just a gel. So it's got a bit more thickness to it and I actually prefer it over the uh, gel, Hydro Boost gel. But I wanted to say that I used my new dry shampoo in my roots where I had all the product and it pretty much worked to get it back to normal. This is the dry shampoo touch activated from Batiste. Um, refreshes hair and releases bursts of fragrance with every touch. So it's basically a regular, but when you rub it in, it kind of like makes your hair smell good. Um, but yeah, I like this pretty much as much as their usual dry shampoo. I also have a deep cleanse one that I can use at night, but I wanted to mention that I've really been loving this and it's just as good, if not better than really, really expensive dry shampoos. But anyways, I'm about to film talking about the water, water cream hydro boost. And then I'm probably going to edit that immediately and send it in. And then we can go upstairs and play with some makeup. I don't want to do all new makeup because I am going out tonight and I always feel like I'm cleaning my brush. I always feel like when I play with all new makeup before I want to go out, it ends up looking bad. But I do have a few things that I want to play with. I kind of want to try the new Rare Beauty uh, powder blushes, but I'm also scared because they are pretty shimmery. And my friend Kate, Stay with Kate, mentioned that she hates them. And we have very similar taste in makeup, so I'm a little nervous about that. Um, but there are some other things I want to try too, so that's the that's the tea. I probably should make a coffee soon too. It's 2 o'clock. Maybe in half an hour I will treat myself to a coffee as a treat for this filming situation. Okay, we've moved to our phone vlogging camera. I just uh, got to my hydrofacial place. It's a... Uh, called spa house it's so cute and i really like it because it has the vibes of like the holistic type of place but they do like legit treatments so it's like super relaxing but i know for a fact it's gonna work We are all done. We got a couple extractions out on this side. You can see like there's some bumps from, um, I had Milia that I got out, so or she got out. But uh, definitely glowy. She put some sunscreen on me. The only problem is my headband that I, she was using kept falling off. So my entire hairline is just covered in like serum and sunscreen. And I wanted to wear my hair down tonight. So I'm like, I might just have to wash like this part of my head. I do not want to take another shower and like wash my entire hair. But um, it was really great. I got a lot of footage in there and my skin just feels so bouncy. My pores on my chin and my nose look so much better. Like so much better. So anyways, I think I'm gonna go get a smoothie cause it sounds really, really good. And then I have to go home and film a few things. So smoothie time, got my smoothie. It's from my favorite place in town. It's called Ian Rose. 
and um we don't have air one obviously in uh tennessee that's like the closest to it and this is a collaboration with a my the place i go for my botox it's called skin farm and this is their best in glow smoothie it has collagen in it it's got like coconut cream and strawberries and bananas and it's really good but when i go i always get it because i'm like oh nashville's version of the hailey bieber skin smoothie and it's delish. Okay, I just got a text from my manager that I am really needing to submit this content for Neutrogena, like ASAP, ASAP. So I'm gonna go home, figure out my hair because it's so greasy on the edges, and then film it, and then edit it, and then send it to them. Wish me luck. We are upstairs. I'm thinking I'm changing up the order of the way that I do my getting ready. Because now that I have bangs, I have to do them last. Because if I do my bangs, I have to push them back to do my makeup. And then I mess up my hair. Thought we could talk about a few new makeup products. I have actually kind of a lot. But again, I don't want to use it all. One of the things that I was curious about, but I'm like, I don't really know, is this new Anastasia Beauty Balm. Um, this is in shade 5. Uh, they sent me shades one two three and four and all of them were too light for me So I just went up one shade and I got this during the Sephora sale and I just want to see If it's the right shade It looks like it might be I don't know they were all too light for me I think this shade might be too light for me as well. You see that like right there honestly too it's hard. I was really excited and wanting to try this because you guys know I love balm products. Like, I love, uh, like, the Mario balm and, like, the bronzing balms. But for some reason, having it in a foundation, I don't think is going to be right for me because I think that it's going to pill and, like, make my skin look a little bit dry. So, I might be giving that away. Anyways, I'm going to start with my brows. Obviously, I have the Rare Beauty Brow Gel. I literally bought two more for um from the sephora sale because i've already gone through two this year and it's only april but while i was doing my brows i thought we could talk about something that i announced on my instagram uh like 10 minutes ago but for you it was a couple days ago so i announced on my instagram that i am i took a job with bubel as their head of u.s marketing us and um content marketing uh that might explain to you why i didn't post the past couple weeks so basically long story short i feel like i'm 30 okay and as i get older i feel like i know in my heart of hearts that like being a content creator is not a forever thing for me as sad as that might be for me and maybe for you i don't know like i love being a content creator and i love being people's comfort creator but i just feel like as i get older and reed and i talk about having kids and growing a family and things like that i just know that this is not what i'm meant to do forever and for those who don't know i have a degree in music business so like i've changed my career completely into working in beauty and if you don't know i have two products that i made with a brand called bubel one is freckle pen one is a brown mascara and over the last year working with them it has just been so amazing to be able to influence the beauty world in a more real way by like creating products doing campaigns things like that and it just made me so happy and it was something that i wanted to continue doing but not necessarily like with me like not i i don't know i just kind of felt like I don't want everything to be about me anymore and working for Bubel just kind of came up if I'm being honest so I'm very close with the co-founders and I had always said like oh you know like when I'm ready to settle down like maybe you'll hire me and it was kind of like this joke that we had going but also was like no seriously like you'll hire me right and uh in February or January of this year I got a call from them basically saying like hey we have some big things happening internationally at the beginning of the year and I would really like to have you on if you want that job um like sooner rather than later so it basically was an opportunity that came up earlier than I was expecting but I felt like I couldn't say no to it because I knew that it was was the right move for me even if it was a little early so basically since then i have uh, been working part-time with them and that is why you know some of my content has been a little bit less frequent on shorts on youtube on instagram tiktok whatever because i was being onboarded as marketing manager i have a couple employees i love them i really 
love helping younger people grow in their career because I always wanted someone like that to help me when I was that age and um, it's something that I had always wanted and was kind of sad that I was giving up if I was being honest by working for myself. I used to work at Eventbrite and I was wanting to go down the management track so that I could help other people grow and now I get a chance to do that in a really fun and unique way so that's kind of my update i know it's you know a little out of left field but if you know me then it's not and it has been really really cool to get to know the beauty industry from this side of things so expect to see a lot more of me talking about bubel um not just my brand but or not just my products but other people that we're working with and just creating something that i think it's not bubel is already such a special brand and i just want people to learn about it and know it because it really is and um that's what i'm here to do that is what i'm here to do so if you have any questions like feel free to dm me i would love to talk about it but essentially my goal is to make more of an impact in the beauty industry think of like mariana hewitt like carrie barber like people who susan yara who are still making content when they want to but mostly they're focused on working for their brand that's what i want to be i want to be able to influence the industry on a bigger scale so we're heading there girls we're heading there all right now that my brows are looking kind of cuckoo crazy let's do some foundation it is really humid out right now so i'm trying to like really pick my product let's do the summer friday skin tint because you can never go wrong with that and this product is so thin and lightweight that um it's super super humid friendly if you live in a humid environment i highly recommend you get this i am probably not going to film this entire look because it will end up being like an hour long video <laughs> when i get to a new product i will pull you guys back in so that we can talk about some of the newness there's been so many new bronzing drops i just got the new bronzing drops from elf in the mail and um i want to do a video where we compare them all but honestly a lot of them are very similar i think it just depends on like the type of undertone that you like in a bronzing drop but i do want to talk about some new blushes um bronzers things like that so i'll be back shortly all right we are concealed and i put a little bit of cream bronzer on i've been using the make beauty uh concealer because it's just so lightweight and again with it being really humid out i just wanted it to be really light and then i powdered a little bit in my t-zone area first new product this is new from rms this is their three dimension hydra bronzers if you know me you know i love the blush version of this i think this is like a really beautiful baked formula i didn't love their highlighter version of this because it was i don't know it just like wasn't i'm more of a liquid highlight person even if it is a baked formula but i think this is going to be gorgeous this is in the shade tan lines and this is like a really good shade for me because it's a little bit cooler so i'm going to use this just to bronze up the face and then we'll go in with a new blush and um i'm excited i feel like this could be a really good all over like warmth type of shade and the fact that it's a little bit cooler toned is so good for me i'm just i don't know i don't i have a warmer toned skin i think like i'm i have more of like a yellowy like olive undertone but when i wear anything bronze it shows up super orange on me so i tend to go a little bit cooler oh yeah that's pretty that's pretty i look a little crazy on the forehead but it's okay because my bangs are gonna cover it up but i think that could be really pretty it's got a little bit of a sheen to it but it's one of those products where like you could go ham and it would not look like too much which i really like pretty Okay, so for blush, I want to possibly do two. I want to do a cream and a powder, and we have, like, quite a few options here. And I'm really nervous about the freaking Rare Beauty one, if I'm, if I'm being honest. Okay, so for cream, um, I have a new one from, two new ones from, well, they're not new. These are from Thrive. I've never actually tried the Thrive blushes, but I kept two of them because they sent me all of them. But I thought that these were the prettiest um this is in the shade dion and this is a like berry matte berry shade and then this one is in Kasia, and this is more of a light pink but i thought those were both really pretty i don't know if i'm really feeling either of those if i'm being honest with you i know what i am feeling and you guys are gonna be like come on girl stop i cannot stop wearing the um tony literally just told me i've been saying it wrong this whole time um the sealy <laughs> she's gonna laugh 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 when she hears me call it that i call it sealy and she was laughing 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 cl sale whatever 
this brand. They have SPF makeup and this blush shade in June. I simply have to do every single look with it. No matter what I put over top of it, this is the start of the look because it's the perfect blush for me. It's like a really like rosy terracotta shade and it's just the perfect base for every blush for me. Especially if I'm going like natural, like it just looks so like sunburned. Look at that, it's so pretty. And they have a lot of, not a lot, they have like three or four shades, but this is by far the best one. Like I could just wear this every single day and guess what, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm sorry, the Thrive ones just could never. Could never, this color is so good. If I was ever going to make a cream blush, I would make it very close to this color. Now for powders, this is new. I don't even know if I'm allowed to talk about this, but I saw I got it in the mail, so here I am. This is new from Dibs. It is their, the Duet Baked Blush Duos. I think that these exist already. This is the only shade I kept in the shade Backstage. And then for the Rare Beauty blushes, the only ones that I kept, and honestly it probably is only gonna be this one, is Truth and Cheer. They look so pretty, but gosh, they have this pink reflect to them, and they're so pigmented. Like, they are so pigmented. I just think, I don't know, that sort of really reflective glitter, you see how that like has this glittery pink hue to it? It's really not my vibe. Um, I'm gonna try, let's try this baked one and see. Yeah, it's similar, right? Look at this, those are super similar. This is the Rare Beauty in the shade Truth, and this is the Dibs Duo in the shade Backstage. I don't know, I, I'm feeling the Dibs one more for sure, and I think maybe we could top the cheeks with a little bit of this one from Rare Beauty, but I am afraid of how pigmented these are. I'm gonna need to use a very light hand because I've got cream blush on. Let's use something like this, like this is a really lightweight fluffy brush. I'm just gonna go into this Dibs Duo lightly lightly and just kind of dab it on oh yeah pigmented y'all it smells it smells like chocolate i don't think i can add anything else look at my cheeks they're so <laughs> plushed look at them oh no 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 that was barely tapping into it that's really pretty and it gives it a sheen like i don't even think i need a highlighter which i said i would just try this so here we go i'm gonna use this brush from rms this is the classic fan brush and just lightly put this on the tops of the cheekbones. Yeah, to me, oof, that is really showing off all my pores. This is much more of a highlighter than a blush in that shade specifically. You see all that? It's really highlighting and emphasizing my pores and I just got a hydrofacial today. So I don't think these are for me, you guys. This is, that was in the shade Cheer. Um, I think the Dibs one I prefer a little bit more because it's not as glittery, but man, that is a glitter factory. Factory. I was thinking about wearing one of the new Persona Cosmetics eyeshadows today, but honestly, I am uh, I'm going to a stand-up show, so I don't really want to do that much with my makeup. And I was thinking about trying the new Fenty highlighter, but I am lit, guys. I am fucking lit. Look how pretty that is. Let's use it as an inner corner highlighter and uh, see how it looks. It's super soft. I'm wearing the shade Prosecco. It's their Demi Glow. And, um, whoa! <laughs> Holy! Holy, oh gosh, I'm gonna be so too glowy, too glowy. <laughs> it's really glowy, which is super pretty, and I like it for an inner corner shade for sure, but whoa, I'm gonna be lit from within. Like, the comedian's gonna be like, hey girl, you okay? You are looking like a disco ball. And I'm gonna be like, no, I'm not. I know from where you are watching, maybe it doesn't look as crazy, but uh, she is Glitting, glitzing. It's funny how so many brands decided to come out with like baked highlighty products at once. So funny how that happens. I'm just gonna take a big brush and like literally dab all over my face to get some of this glitter off. Not even glitter, but just like really sheen, really sheeny. Woo! I'm going to apply my mascara, freckles, etc., and then we will come back and uh, figure this out because she's looking glitzy. We love the look. No. Do we hate the look? No. I know it probably looks better on camera. It's just a little, you can tell that it's powdery. I'm just not a powder person, you guys. I used to be such a powder person and I just know that it's not my look anymore so I can tell when it's powder. Rare Beauty blushes are a no for me, dude. 
Unless you have literally perfect skin, they are going to emphasize all of your pores. I really like this highlighter from Fenty, but again, I'm just not a powder girl and I can tell that it looks powdery. So if I am gonna do a powder though, it's gonna be something like this from R RMS. This bronzer is really nice. I really, really like it, and I will definitely continue to purchase that one or wear that one. But um, no, I don't love the look, which kind of sucks. Let me see if I can zoom you in and show you a little bit more of what I mean. It's got like, my cheeks are just like this pinky sheen right here that's looking very, I don't know. It's not that it looks powdery because I put a lot of uh, spray on, but I can just tell that it was once powder, and that's why it's sitting in the way that it's sitting on my face rather than a cream which is like melts into the skin. So it's okay, it's really humid out so I think everything will kind of blend together as I go outside. Um, and I just put on Benetint and then a clear gloss from Nude Sticks on the lips. So nothing crazy which is fine and my outfit's not crazy either. I was thinking I'm just wearing a white t-shirt and jeans. So um, I will show you the finished look in just a moment when I'm done with my hair because my hair is a whole other thing. I'm still figuring it out, but I love the bangs. It's just, you know, it takes a little while. So I actually cut my bangs shorter recently and I get a lot of questions about how I style them. And it is true, you have to style your bangs every day if you have bangs, like you have to take the time to do them. But I have the time to do it, so I love it. Um, I have dandruff right now because every time I go and get my roots touched up, I get dandruff from the color. But anyways, basically what I do to start is I take, like if my hair is fully dry but I wanna do my bangs, I get a spray bottle of water and I get them absolutely doused I get them doused in water so that I can start from scratch. Sometimes I will um, shampoo them as well. Like I just get this whole frontal section basically completely wet. And if I feel like they're past the point of dry shampoo, I will wash them. But I just washed my hair yesterday, so I feel pretty good about where they're at. Um, I just recently got them cut even more. I can't decide if I wanna wear my hair down or not tonight, but we'll focus on that after I do the bangs. And then I'm gonna make sure my part is good while we're here. It's interesting because obviously with the bangs, I don't have a part, so it's like the part goes beyond the bang, hashtag. If I were making a fake bang company, I would call it that beyond the bang. <laughs> oh, this is the worst dry flaky dandruff ever. I hate it. Just call me coconut hate. So next what I'm gonna do is just dry, rough dry them, like literally straight down. There's a few more pieces I wanna get wet. And then, and then I will go in with heat and style them how I want. Honestly, because I have six straight hair, I don't even really need to style them that much because they just kind of lay how they want to lay. And I do it on the lowest setting of heat and the lowest setting on uh, air. See, we're getting there. We're still a little damp, but for the most part, it literally just styles itself. Boom. <laughs> so now I need to decide how I want to do it. Uh, at Coachella, I wore it down one day and it was really cute, but my hair is a little... Um, dry right now from multiple things. It's kind of oily, it's kind of dry, it's kind of a lot of things. So I kind of just want to do like a little this. I think that could be cute. Cause again, I'm just going out with some of my friends. It's not anything crazy and it's humid. So I kind of want my hair out of my face and I could part the bangs like this or I could wear them straight across. That's kind of the vibe I'm feeling, but maybe half up. I like half up too. But I think, I think all the way up is the vibe. Or maybe down, <laughs> but it's three different hairstyles. We'll see. Okay, we landed with hair up, bangs out. The outfit, say hello. Hello, goodbye. They can't see you. Wearing this little tank from Urban. Reed said these, they look like uh, onions, which is rude. And that's it, the makeup looks my makeup looks, and that's all I can say about it. Um, I am wearing this chorizo scent, as we so beautifully called it this morning, which smells very good, which is good because um, my armpits are stinky today. <laughs> Little spritz. And that about wraps it up, y'all. I love you. I hope you had a great day with me. I had a great day with you. I'm so glad that uh, I got a hydrofacial because mama needed it. 
Um, and I have a few video ideas planned, including I need to do empties and I need to do monthly favorites ASAP, which I know are some of your favorite videos. So I'll be back soon. I love ya. 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 If you don't like my hair, don't say anything. And I love you. And I will see you in the next one really soon. Bye.